Hey, badass business owner, welcome back to the show. Today, I want to talk about something that's very important that you do, and that is that you claim your business everywhere. And I mean everywhere. Let's start with the most important one that you need to make sure you claim, and that is on a Google business page. Let's face it, today when you need something, you pick up the phone and you Google it, and you need to be able to show up. If you haven't claimed your Google page yet, then you never give yourself a chance to show up. You can have the fanciest website, the greatest thing in the world. Yeah, you might be able to pop up from a website standpoint, but let's face it, people are looking first and foremost at that little map with those three main suggestions that are done. Here's the thing. Some people will go, Tammy, I've done that and I haven't gotten anything from it. Let's talk about what you need to be doing with that Google page to begin with. Because one of the most important things that you need to do is you need to fill it out. You can't just put your name on there and think that that's going to drive people to your business. Think like the customer. Think about that person who has come across that site and what are they looking for? Okay, They're looking for not just your name. They're not just looking for a landscaping company. They're looking for someone to solve a pain point. So you need to make sure that when that pops up, whatever they see shows the services that you do so that you can take away the pain point that they have. So you need to make sure it's your name, you're doing the services, you're doing the hours. For example, let's just say they have an AC issue or a plumbing issue and it's eight o'clock at night, nine o'clock at night. Are you somebody that can help them? Well, guess what? In those hours, it tell, lets you tell them if you're 24 seven and you can help them out or if you're just eight to five. Look at all your competitors. Are they only eight to five? Maybe you can change your hours around and that'll help you grab some of those people. You need to make sure that you're filling in your website, your phone number. How do they contact you? I can't tell you how many times I've looked at some of these things and they don't even have a basic way of contacting the company, even if they wanted to. Yes, reviews are very important and you want to drive people there. But you know what? If you look at it, the number one company or number two isn't always the one with the best and the most reviews. It's about being seen. Matter of fact, you don't need to be number one. You just need to be in that top three and stand out from everything that you put on there. You need to put pictures on there. Do some before and after pictures. Pictures that pop up because one of the things that Google loves is it loves and craves information. So if you're loading pictures that have what it is that you do in them and you name and tag them with your name and everything else, uh, it's going to continue to help you. You can do posts, you can do short little stories that talk about a job. The more information that you provide these website, especially this website, the more likely that you are going to pop up and you're going to show up. So one of the things I really want you to do is if you haven't done it yet, you need to claim your business page. And if you haven't touched it or seen it for a long time, just go in there and make some tweaks, make some changes, stay on top of it. Google helps you with this, by the way. They send you an email every holiday to say, hey, make sure your holiday hours. Use it as a trigger. Even if your hours aren't changing, then use it as a trigger to say, you know what? I haven't posted in a long time or I haven't put a picture for a long time. Use Google's prompts to help you. They want you to have the best site. Most people just ignore it and don't do anything with it. Now, I titled this originally Claim Your Business Everywhere because guess what? Bing has one of these page business pages, Yahoo. I haven't looked at that go-go duck that's starting to take off, but you need to look at any search engine and see if they have a business page that you can pop on there because whatever somebody's using, you want to be that business that shows up. Also, there's a lot of different websites that are out there that will show your business as a little gray person. You probably know what I'm talking about. And where possible, try to claim your business because pe your business will show in the yellow pages and will show in these different things and you need to make sure that you claim that if possible. Now, I don't want you to go out and spend crazy money. Some of these want you to put all kinds of crazy money into them. I don't want you to put money into them, but what I want you to do is if it's free, I want you to make sure you put your picture. People do business with people. They don't do business with people in little gray pictures. So anytime, anywhere that you have Googled your business and it pops up, you need to make sure that you have claimed it and as the rightful owner of it. Uh, and you need to protect that sucker. Okay. Uh, another thing that you could do is go into your web browser and go incognito. And usually where the three little dots are, it'll open it up and it'll let you do it incognito. The reason you want to do that is your browser history. We all know that they're following everything that we do, right? Well, if you go incognito and do it fresh, it'll tell you exactly what somebody coming to trying to find you for the first time is looking for. So it's a great way for you to go in there and Google 
your business. And another way you can do it is open another tab and Google the fact that what pain point, who can take care of my weeds, whatever. Just start typing in things that your potential client would actually search for and look for and play around and see who comes up and who doesn't come up. This is one of those times where you want to stock your competition. Look and see what they're doing well on the internet. Now, I don't want you to think that you have to compete with some fancy ass website. That's not what I'm saying. Your website needs to have the core basics like we've talked about, what it is that you you do, who you are, what you do, what hours you do it, The and, and I'm saying I'm all out of order, but you know what I mean, how to contact you, what hours, what areas you service, all that good stuff. But at the end of the day, majority of people are going to start with that Google page of what pops up. So just go in there and start searching incognito several different ways to try to find your business. How would your customer, quit thinking like you, you know too much. Think like your customer. Think like that person who's trying to find you and just go play on there for one, for a couple of hours and just see what pops up. And don't get mad that you don't show up. Start saying, hey, how can I tweak this? How can I change this? Um, You know, pull your, you might have two or three of them. I've actually sat down with some business owners that I can't find find them because they have claimed it two or three different times and it shows up different ways or they moved locations or they personally moved and they attached it to where they moved um, or where they lived, which is what a lot of people do when they work out of their home, but they attached it to the where they live, but they moved, but never went back and changed it. Um, have you ever went on Google pages and you see that it, there's a business in the middle of a community? That's why they're just a home-based business. But if somebody moves, Google doesn't automatically know to go move your business listing. So I want you to think of all those different things that are out there. And I want you to make sure that no matter what, that if somebody starts keying in your business or your business name or searching for what it is that you do, that you give yourself the best shot to be called. So get out there and go open up a computer, open it up on your phone, open it up on your laptop, your iPad, your computer. I want you to get all over the internet, all up in your business. And I want you to start figuring out how can people find me? Do they find me? And when they do find me, what is it that they find out about me? That's what you want to do. You want to make sure. By the way, I'm just, this is just a throwaway to add on to this because this came up last week as well. Sometimes you're going to get people that are not going to give you a five-star review. Do you want all five-star reviews? Yes and no. Yes, it's great to have all those five star reviews, but sometimes when you have that four and a half store review, people feel as if they're more legit reviews because there's so much distrust of the internet and what people do and buying stuff that sometimes people start getting leery that if somebody has 155 star reviews, what's what's wrong? Why? you know, are they erasing them? Are they silencing them? Are they not showing them? So don't get too hung up on it. Now, if someone does leave you a bad review, you do want to respond and you want to respond in such a way that lets people know that you do take these things seriously. So if it's just something where somebody was venting about some mistake that was made, if it was an honest mistake, just say, you know what, we apologize. We were glad that you gave us the opportunity to resolve this as quickly as possible. Things like that. Now, if somebody's just blatantly lying about you, feel free to state, you know, the truth saying, you I'm sorry you feel that way. If you recall, you we fixed this right away. We did this, we did this. So you can do it in a professional manner that is not attacking somebody. Once again, don't get hung up on it. Now, if your business is out there and it's only one, two, or three star, yeah, you got a problem because that means either the only people that are even tempting to find you to write a review are people that are ticked off at something that occurred in the business and you need to get to work by finding people that love you to get them to write those reviews. And it's not easy. Every single person is not going to do it. But if you can get one out of five to do it, then hey, and you drive them to that website, it's going to help you out. So to recap, make sure you go claim your business everywhere. Make sure the very first stop you make is your Google business page. You need to make sure that you get your name, your business name, the services you offer, the location, the the areas that you go to, the hours that you're willing to provide that service. Make sure you're putting up pictures on a regular basis, that you're you're writing a post once a month, that you're letting people know. That's going to help elevate you above your competition into those top spots. And if you don't believe me, just Google random stuff, random businesses in your community community and start looking at who pops up in those top three and what are they doing well. Start mimicking what it is that they do. I'm telling you, it it's not rocket science. You don't need to go pay someone a thousand, two thousand dollars to do this for you. It's really simple. You just have to care and you just have to pay attention and make it one of those stops you make every single week just to check that puppy out and make sure everything's looking good. All right, with that, I am out of here. Go claim your business. Make it part of your working on your business this week. Make sure you check that page out and start claiming your business everywhere you find it. Hey, badass business owner, before you go, as you know, I'm a huge believer in you 
knowing your business numbers. After all, it isn't about how much you sell, it's about what you keep. And the best way to grow your profits is to start diving in and understanding those business numbers. To help you on this journey, I have created the Know Your Business Numbers course. We will walk through how to read your profit and loss statement. You'll learn the key calculations that'll help ensure that you're making a healthy profit on all of your products or services plus a ton of other good stuff that'll help you learn how to use those business numbers to create even more sales and profits. Just check out the link below in the show notes or visit knowyourbusinessnumberscourse.com. So if you're ready to increase those profits, it's time you start diving into your business numbers.